Oh goodness, this feels unnatural. We're streaming quite a bit early for the strategy stream today, but needs must. There's a bagel phone in the evening. I don't want to miss that, but I also don't want to miss playing CK3, because I enjoy this game. I enjoy this game a whole lot more than I ever thought I could. I was talking with Marvin about that earlier, since uh, his enjoyment of it kind of dried out in mine. I feel like I'm only just getting into the flow of truly tapping into the enjoyment uh, of the game. But, different things for different people. This is certainly for me for quite a while to come. Where are we now? Well, it's the reign of Barb and Falk. He's 42, and he's pretty healthy, so he may live on for quite some time. I fear that poor Bare Minimum is only going to get a Bare Minimum duration of their time on the throne if they even make it that far. I don't remember allowing you to become homosexual. But, it does appear that you've pumped out at least one child. And that child, oh, Fasund has carried on down the line. All right, excellent. Keep it up. You have a duty to do, even if it's not your preference. Uh, now, not a whole lot has gone on for Barb and Falk for quite some time, because we were grinding piety. Could have been grinding it harder, but the whole point of that has been to reform our religion. I sat on it for a while and poked around, and this is what I've come up for the reformed version of Solanska Pravda. I switched out a couple of these tenants, human sacrifice, so that we still have good reason to go to war. I'm going to want to capture people since I need to go and find those witches. Uh, I forget what that replaced. We can check what it replaced by going back here to what it was. Yes, communal identity. Not too keen on that personally, it needs to get routed out. I like ritual celebrations, I like the opinion boost, and I like the fact that feasts give us piety and that feasts become even better, because I like my feasts. And Sanctity of Nature I really do not like because it increases building construction cost and I need to construct a whole lot here because Greater Romania here, or Proto-Romania, is a bit barren of everything and we need to fix that. So that had to go and I want to go for Esotericism because children with learning focus can get Wise Man and I believe that's a route to maybe get us some witches since wise people can do those Kovnin things. In any case, it wasn't too expensive to do, otherwise I miss having a head of faith, so we're going to have a spiritual one, not a temporal one, because if it's temporal it should be you, and then you're going to get spammed with all sorts going on. Otherwise, of course, witchcraft is going to be accepted, and I don't think I wanted to change out anything here. It's not really the cost, it's just that there's a lot of crazy things you can do with your religion, and I'd rather only do a certain amount of crazy pair run if you do everything then, well, I am going to get inundated with it. Now, it is a little over what we can afford, so I'm going to have to grab another 300 or so piety. I can't do that with any feasts for a few years, but we're healthy. We shouldn't die anytime soon. What I will do is go on a bit of a rampage in the hopes that we can abduct some people, well, not abduct people, but do some fire and blood to get some more. So I'm going to raise my army, well, a chunk of my army, to go and uh, loot lands that have not yet been looted. Looks like Bachs is uh, ripe for looting. Their military strength is inferior to ours, so we can raid along here. I don't want to touch the Byzantines, they are much too powerful for me to be bothering with when it comes to raiding. And where else could be done? Our good friends in Moldavia haven't paid their tithe in quite a while to me. So we'll consider that after we've done a sweep. Actually, I could do a sweep from the bottom up and then go over to Moldavia, couldn't I? You've been raided, you've been raided, you have not been raided, and then we can carry up from you. Excellent. We'll do exactly that. And we hope upon hope that we don't somehow die on the battle trail. That would be the worst. So raise the army there. Is there anything else I want to do? I'd love to switch away from theology to learning, but as long as we have theology focus, We'll continue boosting our piety, and we, we will need that for a wee while longer. So, let us do that. Bear in mind that we are currently swaying Pius, so that he will uh, reform with us, and we're trying to abduct this guy nine months' time. Hmm. I don't want to build up too much tyranny, but as long as he's in our dungeon, it'll be alright. See, one thing to consider is I want all my vassals to convert. I could throw out a gift or two to bring them, but then again, if they don't convert, I can always uh, apply the thumb clamps later on to convert them. Uh, Duke Pius II won't be converted yet, but he can be. As for you, when my tyranny goes away, you'll probably be alright. So that just leaves you and you 
you're almost a lost cause. You are maybe just a single gift away or a position on the council away. Worth keeping in mind, so I'll work towards that. As for now, though, i got stuff to do. Oh, a hunt and a mystical communion. Mm, could cost piety for doing this. Can't Yeah, it does cost piety. I actually can't afford that. Yeah, I don't want to be spending my piety at this point, unfortunately. And I don't want to risk my life in a hunt. And I don't think a hunt has pious outcomes, so we'll leave that for now. Unfortunate, but oh well. Might as well gather everybody. Don't want to have any risks when I'm out raiding. Human sacrifice is useful for the unconverted. That's the oh my god, I can't do a single bloomin' scheme without being caught in this campaign. I, I don't know why, it's just failing me so much and so often. Right, this is us. We need to command because I believe that gives it more likelihood of getting fire and blood event. Once we're done with this, I want to go here. Increase control. Well, keep in... Oh, right. That's control. I wanted to increase control because I extorted everything out of my peasants in Targuju. Oh, I could fight you. Fighting... Uh, Fighting you might net me some half-decent piety. Would put a risk on my life, of course, but... What's life without a bit of risk? It's not even life at all. Worth keeping note that we got the 2,500 piety, and the amount that we need is 2,875. So 2,900 piety is a good number to keep in mind. A little bit of fire and blood. We should be good to go. Yeah, Borg, we have decided on the tenants. That's what we're talking about. I need this for that piety. <laughs> Build up piety by showing restraint in burning down the places that we pillage. Good show. So I was poking around at Crusader Kings 3 script trying to read up the likelihood of events and I couldn't read it. That felt really, uh, really bad because one thing I can really do with EU4 is open up the uh, the script for anything and instantly understand every aspect of it. Ooh, I want to raid that, but I wish to have a fight with you for uh, battles against infidel like you. And you are infidel. Oh, Christ, they're Christianis. is a good battleground for, uh, for more piety. I'll let you get locked in so you have no chance of escape. A bit risky bringing myself in for this fight, since I'm not a very good commander, but hey, come on, lead by example. It would be catastrophic, by the way, if Barb and Falk died now. Practically no heretics in the whole of Bereg. That's good to hear. Now, where am I meant to put you to work now? Oh, nice! This was converted. Now, the Christianis take forever and a day to convert. But I think it's quite important to actually convert my land. Uh, I was so convinced that the um, the Zealots guy that I put here would convert this for me, but I guess I'll get that done myself. Then there'll be no risk of any uh, orthodoxies whatsoever. And then we'll deal with you in time, time being. Ooh, well, I say that, but I'm about to do a big conversion, so maybe it's not worth doing that for now. Perhaps we should have you... Get me the piety, which is something that I need right now. Yeah, you know, what a great idea. Why wasn't I thinking that during the entire time I was trying to bank up piety? If I'd remembered that, would have had what I needed by now. Right, that fight right there netted us another batch of piety, but didn't get us any prisoners. Prisoners would be good. Prisoners, you see, mean uh, people that we can slice up for more piety. Like you, you're a Christiani and you're a little homely, which is a nice way of saying, uh, welcome to die. Burn the child at the stake, gain the piety, and we're at 27 out of 29. A little bit of fire and blood, and we'll be there. Oh, Duke Pius has been swayed, so I would actually quite like to try swaying another. I also want to see if anybody else will join me on this to try and remove this offset like you there. That's a big bribe, though, but he's got big pockets. Help me out here, sunshine. Everybody wants big money to, uh, to get this guy. How well do you bring it up? 
81. 81's about as good as we could expect, so I'll leave it at that. If I do abduct him, all the better. But I'll try not to do anything tyrannical until I have the prestige to change my religion. Still Irish really won in the rename everything to Bart. I just think it's so great when you can rename things. In this game, you can't even rename your grandchildren, which is uh, such a shame. Right, this has all been raided to hell and back, so I should just go for another fight. But it won't be me doing it, heavens no. Let's get someone with a bit of capacity for fighting instead of me. Like, uh, like you. Don't want to risk my life here. It's not how we operate. And then we try for uh, Moldavia's capital. It hasn't been raided, right? Just imagine the, uh, the people we could get there. Hearts and Minds, my sister and friend, has lately been telling me how impressed she is with the generosity of such and such. She came through and she... Okay, well, I mean... Getting stress re reduction events when I have no stress. Bit of a... Mm, yeah, moment. Alright, I will join you at their feast. Hopefully you don't try and kill me. We must be getting so fat with all this feasting, though. Oh, okay. Well, there was almost nothing going on there. What a terribly dry uh, feast he had. Alright, once they've been done duking it out, we get to fight. And, hey, we got the Defending in Hills bonus. Well, I guess that's a route for you. Thanks for the 112 piety. A little, and I do mean a tiny bit more, and we have everything we need. Surely fighting the Zemp... Oh, no, they are uh, they are our faith. But hey, maybe they have uh, knights who are not. Unwelcome guests. Alright, 81% chance of nabbing the uh, this grand old not-Duke of York from Francia. Let a small group of people in the middle of the night... They remove uh, undetected muffling screams. <laughs> Give it a go. There we go. Excellent. Vengeful, arrogant, ambitious individual. We'll keep him in our quarters for now. Hopefully he is uh, under house arrest. Good. His health is ailing, so I need to put him to work and fast. But that was very lucky for us to abduct him there, even after being discovered. This hasn't been looted yet. I could still go in there with my own fire and blood. And just a tiny bit more, and we can reform. We just need 22. Hell, I could just let a year pass and we have a, we'd have it. Uh, I didn't pick up some prisoners without noticing, did I? Ooh, I did. I picked up a Catholic. And you are the piety that I need. Almost. I mean, I'm still going to burn you at the stake for that piety. There we go. There's little reason to delay this because the... Uh, that's the Archbishop, Jake. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, man, I just killed 3,000 ducats without uh, noticing. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Whoops. <laughs> you get lucky, but you just throw it out because of lack of perception. I was just commenting on something like that on YouTube where I said uh, my lack of perception is carried by luck. Ah, that hurts. That hurts in big ways. So I abducted that guy because I wanted all of his money by banishing him, but I accidentally killed him. Ouch. Well, what can you do? Let's uh, not have more disaster befall us and actually get that faith reformed. 13 of my 17 vassals will... Okay, so some of them now will not. Hmm. He will never financially recover from this. Well... I wonder about that, because their next guy, I think, inherits that money. If they indeed have a, a new one. No, no he didn't. Maybe because he died here, right? Well, that money just disappeared into the ether. 
Ouch. Just ouch. Does he have a mod to ignore the three holy sites requirements? Nope, I have them. One here, one here, and one here. Ah. Okay, before I convert, I really want to make sure that as many vassals as possible will convert with me. Bit of a shame that some of these guys just won't. But if I were to gift them, it would cost quite a lot of money, and I don't really want to spend that on conversions. Mm, but I think I will. I can't think of anything better to uh, to do to make them like me just a bit more. I could wait, but I really, really do not want to wait. Yeah, I traded 3,000 gold for uh, 25 piety. Not the best deal I've ever made. Damn it, I can't believe I did that. That was just a complete uh, lapse of remembering why I had that guy. I just assumed he was there for my rampaging. Oh well. Right, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm thinking of gifting people, but is it really worth the money when I could just uh, get hooks on them and force them to convert, or otherwise just force them to convert anyway? Hmm... If they're zealous, then I definitely want to um, to have them converted here, because it's hard to make them do it otherwise, but I don't think any of them are. Like, you're brave, you're certainly going to want to uh, reject me. Duke Pius II, after everything I just did to try and keep you on my side here, but I could offer you a position on the council, and that would immediately make you happy enough. You're angry because you don't have one. Hmm, you'd be very unhappy that I'd kick you out, but you're not a powerful vassal. I think they're all my uh, my vassals here, pretty much. Duke Pius, if I assign him there, he will be... Uh, he'll be doing that. There we go, that'll get him on my side, even though I have to endure his crummy martial abilities. It's bothersome because you are very close to it. It's just a tiny, tiny bit of... Um... Ooh, difference in learning skill. So if I actually had you help me out with my learning, that might help us get you on my side. There we go, just one more to worry about, and it's this bugger. And you I can send a gift to. And just like that, everybody will surely... Con Maybe it just needs to needs a little moment to think about it. There we go, now get back. Everybody under me will convert. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So again, human sacrifices and esotericism replacing I forget what this was, and uh nature thingamajiggers, having a head of faith, and finally having witchcraft. Let's do it. The beliefs of the Solanska Pravadka can never be changed. That's fine. We'll live with it. There we go. Looks a bit grim. Just a bit. There's a lot of conversion to be done now, but we shall be the ones to do it. Does my lifestyle focus help me with conversions at all? Yeah, my conversion strength is improved by this, but I really want to switch out to diplomacy so I can start befriending people. Hmm. So no communion tenant. Uh, not anymore now. The communal identity and the sanctity of nature were of old Slovanskin, not the new hotness here. So, uh, we can still do a lot of converting within our realm because I can ask my subjects subjects to convert, and I'm a terrifying individual, so many of them will. Not all will, uh, will though, and I don't think it's a crime to say no. Maybe I should have made it a crime to say no, but we've already uh, already made our decisions there. Yeah, some of them really do not want to, uh, to convert, but I should go and kindly ask everybody I can to, but I want my army back and taken away first. I've managed to gather every important threats in the world together so they can discuss our beliefs and establish an official doctrine to guide our faith into the future. 
We've declared Solanska Prad to be the one true faith. The only way to show proper devotion is by honouring Rod with human sacrifices. Okay. We've chosen uh, Radovan as our new chief Volkh, who will determine religious doctrine, arbitrate interfaith disputes for the entire Slovanskan world. You're a very well learned individual, but you're a foreign ruler. Can't be having that now. What do you. Oh, right, you. Uh... Yeah, I guess you just exist around there. No immediate effect, but we get to feel like the big man. And I do. Right, let's uh, get rid of you. No oh, hostile armies are abound. There we go. Ah, no need for all that piety anymore. Um, yeah, I really want to switch out to diplomacy. Let's get ourselves um, not fertility, just straight up diplomacy. We'll go with that. And I want to start working on uh, making some friends for a change. Okay, how do we adopt feudalism now comes in Emerly. Right, so adopting feudal ways is painful because I have to have all the tribal innovations and that's going to take forever. What I think I will be doing is at some point I will very swiftly bend the knee to Basilius and then get straight back up as soon as I can. As we are right now, we could just instantly adopt the feudal ways as long as we had an overlord who was feudal. But we don't, and we'd need an Emperor Overlord, and that would be Bavaria or uh, Byzantine. But it would have to be somebody that I think I was friendly with and had a hook on, because I would want to modify my contract to have religious freedom, so they wouldn't instantly start converting my, uh, my heathen lands. Jake, change a priest's job. Yeah, they need to start converting faith within the country, don't they? Uh, they can do it very quickly, I'm glad to see and say. They're going to do the old capital first. You're on patronage. Well, you're not that great at patronage. Uh, maybe keep the intrigue going. Or you could help me with everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, give me a bit of everything, please. Make me look somewhat competent at what I do. Now, now, now. Well, now it's a case of going around my beloved vassals and asking them kindly, well not my vassals, but my vassals' vassals, and asking them very kindly to convert for me. Uh, that's only going to work if they are actually Slovanskan, old Slovanskan that is, so if I demand your conversion. Thankfully being terrified and cynical are good helps, don't have the hooks, but I will try. If they decline, it's only an opinion hit, so I should go to everybody that I can who is of the old Slovanskan ways and ask them, as long as there's a reasonable chance, I'm not going to go for that. In fact, that's a bit worrying, the fact that it's only plus 20 from Terrified. Yeah, you, you're already the right uh, religion. As are you, as are you. Need to just go around all the lands that are not currently... 20% um... ah, isn't good, but I should give it a go. It's going to take forever to... Okay, well, there's no chance of that now, is there? Mm, should have made this criminal. The opinion hit that I have of them now is uh, is hurting this. It always says might convert, but I've never seen them agree to it on a might convert. They usually ask for something like money. Let's try a might convert there. God, that's my land that it's unconverted. I think people only convert one uh, one count with them if they have a bunch of land. So I should be happy that as much land as it did uh, converted. Let's try that 10%. We'll give it a go. Okay, conversions might be a little harder than I thought. I thought we might be able to blitz through it, but these people hate me. Oh, that's stupid PS. Alright, we'll just see who, if anybody, agrees to my demands. The king's... Oh, I only wished for your salvation. I only wished for your salvation. There we go. Blessed be, you've decided to convert. And that converted that for me. Ah, but most of them are just saying, no way. High learning helps in converting vassals as well. 
Yeah, we don't really do so well with learning anymore. Maybe I should have kept on the theological focus for a bit before doing that, but oh well. It will be converted and it won't take that long. Yeah, we gained a hundred uh, piety once again. Right, I want to hold that mystic commune using that. Learn, get that uh, learning lifestyle experience, even though we don't have learning. I begin in peace. Let's go get high in the closet again. I must applaud your mystical exploration of our faith. From the rumors I hear, sounds like I have a thing or two to learn myself. Ah, uh -huh. we might be able to get uh, friendly with old uh, Dwarfo here. Uh, this is funny, so I just sent this guy off hoping that he wouldn't breed any more of his little dwarves. And then what pops out? Another little dwarf who's actually not married, but we'll let them figure that one out on their own. Closer to a friendship. Doesn't really seem to have expanded in any way. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so now the next thing to sort out for my realm is religion once again. But then what? I'm not currently abducting anyone or doing anything too nasty, and the last one was meant to give me 3,000 ducats, but I chopped his head off instead, or rather I burned him at the stake, and now my general uh, money pots are running a little dry, unfortunately. I think I checked them not too recently, so... Ah, but the problem with you is you're brave. You wouldn't cough up the ducats, and there are not enough established um, kingdoms with with good uh, presence of archbishops for me to extort. Generally I have to go for the other Christians. I don't know enough about these other faiths to to know if they have um, heads of faith that have lots of dosh. I should really look into a mod that just filters people by money. But what would, it be, what would they be called? What would the realm priest be called for the Abbasids? A Faris? Probably not, because he's dirt poor. Courtier, daughter, the Grand Alama. Well, he doesn't have Dosh, so that doesn't seem right either. Realm Priest would be the Caliph. Well, I just looked at him, but maybe they don't take money. I've never played as uh, one of these Muslims, so I don't know. <sighs> A Saeed. I don't know um, how they work with their Realm Priests and such. Well, we'll leave it be. It's not like I'm hurting for money, it's just, you know, more is better. Feudalize some way someday. Now, what I'm thinking. I don't border you, so it's hard to hard to take this. I wanted Dubrogia for myself. I could, I suppose, take this one county to get a border with uh, Byzantium. That is a border, I see, right? Um, off of Bulgaria, because Bulgaria is incredibly weak. Then use that border to uh, bend the knee to the Byzantines, but I would really want a hook on you first. And I have a feeling getting a hook on you... Ooh, it's a bit easier than I thought. Maybe I should start that now, though. I think I can stop swaying Duke Pius, and I need to think who else I need swayed. Is there anybody in my... Lands who, oh yeah, that's right, I made you my fairly crummy um, marshal guy, right? Sorry, it was only for a short while. I want my genius brother-in-law to... Ooh, he'd make for a great uh, chancellor, wouldn't he? Uh, he's also good at that. He's good at many things. Ah, alright, you're the one I gave to Kiev, of course. Pavel. And I believe you even converted Kiev for me, didn't you? That you did. Excellent. Right, what's going on? We've got a reading going on. A tedious feast became even worse. A reading from da da da. Thankfully, Radu soon suggested reading riddle poems instead. Radu coming in to help us. Religion to have had a head of faith for Muslims. The person is typically the biggest ruler. Yeah, but I can't abduct the biggest ruler. Uh, and banish them for money. The nice thing about Realm Priests is that they're unlanded, meaning I can just uh, grab them and run away. But there are a lot of realms to check the priests of, and some certainly have more money than others. Look at 500 just sitting around in Soleto. So if I were to abduct you, no, that's a hook. Although hooks can be used as well. If I were to straight up abduct you, that would take a bit of time. I think hooks are a bit better, because you can invite them to your court using it. 
and depending on how you get the hook they might not be too cheesed off with you target the uh, faction is gone the child's benefiting of course unhealthy relations the malady is contagious beware and there's another diseased body coming in small pocky vlad here launch it towards uh, another dracos dracos the foolish of marmaros but he's my vassal why would i do such a thing i think i should study that corpses bring up my learning Loyalty or fear, right? That's Zess. Never never too happy with me, but oddly enough, relatively ecstatic. We lost the minus 20 penalty to all my subjects for being unreformed. Thank God for that. As king and vassal, or rather as king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. How much is obedience without devotion? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. How can I afford such a risk? I don't really care much about vassal taxes, so direct vassal opinion's really nice. I could wound the guy! No, I quite like generous liege. Let's get that opinion bonus with everybody. Ah, and that allows us to be invited to another wonderful get-together. Again, not that I have the stress to worry about. Can you be feudal as a mu uh, Muslim? Well, there are plenty of Muslims around, and... I don't know if any of them are feudal. I think I saw some feudal down here. Got some Ashari there. Mm, some tribal. The answer is I don't know, because I have not played as a clan nor as a Muslim. Right, I'm a famous reveler, so everybody gains extra opinion. I'm losing even more stress. That's, it feels like stress is so easy to take care of in the game, but I've... Uh, maybe I've not been pushing the boundaries enough. And keep that interesting conversation, because I want to buff myself up as much as possible. Oh, my friend died. Bang goes the stress. But bang goes the stress as well, and life reaffirmed will keep us living for a long time, hopefully through the obesity. <laughs> it's just stress reduction after stress reduction. Right, why don't we do something a little bit stressful? Let's go on a hunt. I mean, it reduces the stress, but it might kill us, and that gives me the stress. But still good to do. Bank up all that prestige, not that I know what to do with it. Okay, my son, bare minimum, went on ahead of the group. Uh, and then he ends up shooting a man. It was the heart father, I swear. Soon enough the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. So this unlanded nobody, with half-decent stewardship, uh, decided to get in the way. Hmm... Expose his murder secret. He fought valiantly to save him. I saw it. We must cover this up. Well, this is my player... <laughs> Too bad the heart got you both! <laughs> well, let's consider this. Because you may be next in line, bare minimum... But the things you inherited were also bare minimum. You're merely a handsome chap. Next in line would be... Emile, uh, Haramir here. Also a handsome chap. Not really showing any other great traits there. And then we have to go down to Cumley and Hale, betrothed to a barren individual. Hmm. Wouldn't the next in line be bare minimum's kid? Is that how it works? Ooh, I like that comely and fasund. Um, hmm. That kid should actually have some guardian shipping by me, so let's take care of that. Well, I will try to help you out there. Diplomacy challenge. I'll do everything I can to squeeze out every chance I can here. Everybody believes me. He's not a murderer now. Good job, my trouble and strife. Ooh, kids all look alike. Good, they should, otherwise uh, the milkman's been a bit too busy. 
In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. <laughs> Are we bringing back the corpse? Okay, Duke Pius got himself out of prison. We had victory. I wasn't even aware I was having a battle, but uh, sure. Second son is gay. Gonna be trouble getting kids out of him. Well, our first son is gay. Oh my days, what is with the rampant homosexuality? You don't even have one. Good lord. Right, uh, wherever I go, my guest is sure to follow. I look in the eyes, the words on her lips, I know exactly what she is after. An albino, eh? Keep her close, very close. Allay. Uh, oh, they're trying to seduce me. The world will know of her perverted nature. Characters closely dislike fornications. She'll never attempt to seduce you. No one will ever seduce me. Nah, I mean, it's it's charming, right? But get away from me. Plenty of claims that I don't care about. Hey, we got the barracks. Can I even build something with, uh, with that fascination? I can't build feudal buildings. We know that much. Could I build a tribal building here? Yeah, yeah, I can upgrade my longhouse to a longer house. And I can upgrade my sparring grounds to a bigger sparring ground. And it doesn't cost extra now. Thank goodness for that. I will upgrade that. The extra knights will be most welcome. Although this, this land's probably going to go away on succession. Alright, so. Oh. What am I currently doing again? Getting a hook on the Basilius good, because I do plan on actually uh, becoming friendly with him. I think I'll need to be his friend for me to be able to swear fealty. Because it's minus 66 right now. Different faith is hurting badly. Something popped up there and I wasn't even paying attention. Anybody know what that was? Either way, I'm going to have to fight Bulgaria to get a border with Byzantium. Those claims could have been yours. Yeah, but I don't intend on expanding my realm beyond... Uh, Romania here. The only things that I have really to take are the rest of Moldavia's uh, duchies here and Dobrogea. Otherwise we have everything that I'm looking for in terms of borders. I don't believe growing big is uh, for the better enjoyment of a run. Once I held about this much land and it just got tiresome. Too much to deal with. Now granted you can offset that by just saying okay kingdom here, kingdom here, kingdom here and then you only have like three or four subjects to worry about. But even they have their internal larks, and it just goes a bit, yeah. I like to keep things concise. Uh, maybe we could stop trying to sway you. And instead, oh, I don't think I can sway you if I'm plan uh, scheming against you. Hmm. Isn't Byzantium right there? Uh, they're across a border, so it's not... They're across a river, so it's not a border. I would need to take this. I think there's a border there. Looks like there's a border there. I could check that if I grab my rally ho point, shove it the oh. grab it, shove it there, raise my men at arms and tell them to go there, then there. Yeah, it's connected. Good. There we go. All these people ending up being taken prisoner, probably because of the rampant raiding, since so much of the world is still tribal. I mean, we're tribal as well, but we're working on it. My daughter, ever since I learned that my wife has been unfaithful in our union. She has? What? Um. Was she? I don't recall learning this at all. In any case, she was uh, unfaithful. Ha. Huh. It's CK3, of course she was. She's my lover and soulmate. My cousin, wife, soulmate. Well, maybe she shows too much compassion. 
Anyway, uh, you are hale and comely, and that's a good sign that you are our offspring, so I am confident that she is our daughter. Everyone's banging everyone else's the party. Oh well. <laughs> Let's make sure the next one's ours as well. Good to have lots of kids. Good to send them out into the great beyond. Hadamir came to me complaining about Anna bullying him. He's been hiding all over the castle to avoid her. My son and ward. Being bullied by... Ugh, someone of old Slovanska Pravda. Don't become craven, don't become lazy. Arbitrary is sinful. But craven is just... Then again, you are not exactly next in line, are you? Well, no, Haramir is second going. I wouldn't want to craven one, but I certainly don't want lazy. I definitely don't want arbitrary. Mm, how, how painful for me that it's... Uh, oh, well, get craven then. Too bad for you. Jake reformed and kept arbitrary as a sin. I'm actually not sure what was causing arbitrary to be a sin. It's not from here, it's not from here, and it's not from here. Maybe they're just base sins for Slavic faiths, just as gregarious, honest, and just were, um, were virtues. Wise man is virtue, which means I am super virtuous thanks to that. Hey, drowning in that piety even without our theological focus anymore. Right, you got captured, so we need to, well, no, you got uncaptured, so back you go. Get those conversions going, my subjects. There's a lot of old Slovanskin to get rid of here. Base sins are tied to base religions. Yes, says old Terran. Oh, good to know. I am still feeling the burn of letting all that cash money slip away by killing the priest instead of taking their money. Now I need to find somebody else who happens to have some decent dosh. I'm going to try and sway you. Wait, how old is he? Six-day ailing giant. Eh, I can try my luck. Again, 53. It's troublesome getting hooks on these older people. Um, especially since I want to befriend you as well, which might be tricky. Mm, he's a gay man. I could, could always seduce him. Even if I don't want to. Uh, I should keep an eye on my factions, but none of them seem powerful enough. I'm surprised the old Slovanskans haven't tried to rise up, but they're only considered a stray rather than evil. Uh oh. Oh Christ, I got the border even if I didn't want to. It looks like uh, my count here decided to expand into Bulgaria. Mm hmm. Hold on, hold on. We, we've expanded a wee touch. Even if we didn't intend to. That's what those vassals will do when they go out fighting for you. Right, Bulgaria got hammed. However, I now have uh, a border with you. And I could swear fealty, but I need a friendship with you. And I don't have the ability to make friends right now. Jake's done with borders. The border's not done with you. That's why I kind of want to be feudal so that I can... Uh, I can institute regular crown authority instead of tri tribal crown authority to prevent my subjects from going to wars. It would have to be absolute, though. Ooh, a pretty robust daughter. The girls always seem to get the uh, the better traits coming in. Still, you could be useful to me. Uh, who are all your siblings here, by the way? Hmm, I think we're going to call you Meow. Grow up strong and wise. You wonder about the bizarre names I use. I use the backers from Patreon as names for my eugenics fodder. Right, so I want to do this, but he obviously hates me, so I need to. Uh... Well, he's gonna hate me even more when I get this hook. <laughs> Still, I gotta try. Swearing fealty would lead to endless attempts to make you Greek Orthodox, and your lands would be converted underneath you, says Deathshed. Correct, which is why. 
I intend on making sure that I have religious freedom rights under him using uh, the feudal feudal thingamajiggers. Modify feudal contract. That said, it's not showing up here. Well, you are you are the correct religion, so I guess all of my uh, subjects converted. I hope it's not a. He can still spend, uh, send priests to convert. Not if I have religious freedoms as a feudal contract going. Now, I worry a little bit that it's actually locked behind something. Like, what if there's one of these that unlocks the ability to have um, feudal contract to protect religion? Oh, I'll need a royal prerogative to get high crown and absolute crown authority. That'll stop these wars. Till then, I guess it's not too much of a shame as long as we don't split off new um, new kingdoms. Hmm. That certainly wouldn't be this right, uh, this late, would it? No, definitely not. I mean, we did it straight away with something before. No, I did that when I was playing as Leon. Yeah, if I was able to do it as Leon, which is an 867 start, then it must be a given as long as you're feudal. So yes, I need to befriend this guy, which means I need the friendship ability. And then he will allow me to swear fealty. Opinion hurts, but it's not the biggest thing that's affecting this. And I want that hook first as well, of course. So I can use the hook when modifying the contract. Should probably befriend him before getting the hook, but the hook takes a while. I just have to hope he doesn't see uh, see reason to attack me before then, because he's a whole lot stronger than I am. I mean, if he attacks me for uh, Moesia Duchy or even this county, that's fine. But if he attacks for, say, the Kingdom of Wallachia, then I'm going to be in a bit of a tiz. But, come on, it's not like the Byzantine Empire I've had plenty of territorial demands up till now. Gotta have faith. You might try and get your lands the old-fashioned way before you can befriend them. This is true. Well, let's uh, let's drink our problems away first. We are getting a bit chublix here, though. Dragos. It's my spy master, but he loves me. He surely wouldn't do nasty things to me. Well, speaking of spy master, why don't you try and find some secrets there? I might be able to find a secret that would uh, result on a hook on him anyway. You gain the trait Drunkard. Nah, I, I don't need to take that risk. I, should, I suppose I should be impressed that my vassals have expanded my realm for me. Famous Reveler. One more round on me, everybody. We're damn good at what we do. We've almost integrated Transylvania into the Kingdom of Wallachia, which I feel extremely good about. Does anybody know if um, Opinion has a say in whether or not people try to fight you? Right, I've swayed this giant. I'm not really sure I should keep trying to sway him. I'd rather sway you, but I'm scheming against you, so all in due time. I can stop the swing whenever I want. You're just somebody I'm looking at for potential gold down the line. Provided you don't die on me before then. Or I grab you and chop your head off. Oh, that 3,000 ducat penalty is going to carry with me for some time. <laughs> ah, and I even spent money on uh, abducting him as well. Considering how strong the busies are, can get gaining independence from them will be difficult after becoming feudal. Sure, but I'm sure we can manage it as well. Family contracts. Scheme success chance. Scheme power. I do need a lot of power. Although maybe I should have gotten success chance while we're at it. My handsome liege, I've found I've failed to find any secrets. His daughter-in-law here, I might. Why were you? Why were you looking up them in particular? Oh right, right. Truth is relative. So you were looking at getting a hook on uh, some unimportant courtier. 
I don't think so. So there's a nice benefit. You'll make some friends even if you don't try to make some relative truths. These internal fights within my realm hurt me to see. Causes a uh, family of mine to be taken prisoner. I feel so bad for it. But that's exactly what I'd be doing if I were these duchies and such. But it also means that people's realms are going to expand in ways I don't want them to. And if I want to retract them in any way, it's going to be... It's going to be painful for all involved. As long as they don't take over too much of Pannonia uh, and form that kingdom, we're good. Same with Moldavia. Please don't expand. Oh, oh, they already have. We didn't used to have this. We can't have the kingdom of Moldavia unless we have how many? Ooh, eight counties and we have seven. Don't like that. Okay, the giant man has uh, gone away now. Oh, not only that, but Lotharingia has somewhat exploded. Who was next? It was you. You keep all that money, though. So I see no reason that I can't try my luck with you. Try and sway you a bit. So what am I doing here? I'm trying to sway these people so I can uh, befriend them, bring them to my court, and extort them for money. But that's just a side thing to do with my swaying abilities before I can go to the Byzantine Empire and make a friend there. Keep getting invited to all these dudes. I, I'm, I'm getting so chunky here. Comes with weight, I guess. You have some random land in White Ruthenia. There's nothing random about it. This is a holy site, so I should be holding on to it. <laughs> I, I don't need that. Let me just take the slight penalty. Truth is relative on the son of the Basilius. Is this perhaps the next in line? Hmm. I could have you killed, and then... No, no, wrong guy. Theokistos. But we're talking about Michael here. But Michael could actually join in and give us some incredible scheme power here using that strong hook, provided he's in the court. He's unlanded and he's in his court, so actually I should probably see to it that that's done. And then... Oh, right, no, people won't join you for hooks here. Well, that was a waste of money. Let's try to become closer to becoming... Ah, there we go, we actually became friends with our Chancellor, meaning that they're going to do their job better. Hadamir came to me complaining about Anna bullying him. He's been in bed for days to avoid facing the bully. Nope. Oh, oh, Christ. You're, you're going to be a real waste of space there, aren't you? Honest, craven, lazy. Let's just hope we don't have to play as Hadamir. We return home ever fatter. Oh, we should probably stop going to all of these. Okay, in our latest correspondence, my vassal made a mention in passing about a recent conversation he had. I did not know he was so interested in the subject. Letter is supposed to be strictly diplomatic. They dip into more personal topics. Vassal and champion. All but stone something or other. We'll go for it. Try to become better friends there. I want this hook though. But it's going to take another couple of years. However, with this I can work on the befriend scheme. Ooh, that's really good for getting people to like me more, but I do want friends. There we go. Now, if and if I were to try to befriend you, and it doesn't show me how likely it would be to uh, to work, unfortunately, what I will do is I'm going to trop, trop, yeah, stop trying to sway you, and then see if I can actually befriend you. Let's test our befriending skills. Oh, not very likely. Fickle versus stubborn. The Basilius is also fickle. Becoming his friend is going to be a little difficult. Hmm. More than just a little. Shy and callous. 
You're cynical and humble. Mm. Okay, making friends is going to be a little harder than I thought then, or at least making useful friends. Could practice a bit and do. Oh god, why do I have such a useless learning individual here? There's got to be somebody better. Currently appointed chancellor, and apparently I have nobody else that I can do? Now you're a, a male. We used to only have females here. I don't recall changing anything in that. Well, at least you endorse me, so keep up the work, if not the good work. Hmm. There we go. Spy masters who are your friends do uh, do their jobs better. Good to know. Is there anybody I could try my luck befriending them? Hmm. <laughs> He's already my friend. There we go. Piety has few uses and easy to get, says Dark Young. Well, I needed a lot of it to do what I did before. 